Good morning YouTube. I wanted to show you guys this um, dragon fruit. So this poor little thing is sitting in a tiny little pot for about three years, I'm gonna guess. And here's some of its uh, older leaves. And I threw it in this uh, big terracotta pot and put in some rotten leaves at the bottom to about there, like I usually do. And then the rest is about 20 liters of worm castings of, of compost. And as you can see, it's quite happy. This is this is all new growth in like two weeks. So I am kind of amazed by that. I mean, I've used worm castings before and uh, I really like it. I think it's the best fertilizer ever, but uh, yeah, this this is one happy dragon fruit. And even with this little pawpaw here, uh, papaya tree growing right next to it, it uh, yeah, it's definitely found its happy place. It's sending down good roots and like that's a that's a lot of photosynthesis going on right there. So yeah, pretty happy. Hopefully my mates get some uh, dragon fruits out of this thing in a couple of months. <clears throat> so the idea here, um, I put it on the stump. Ideally it'd be a little bit higher, maybe uh, about two meters tall. But anyway, you um, if you do dragon fruit this way, uh, when the branches hang down, um, how do I explain this? The branches need to be at a certain angle for uh, dragon fruit to set fruit, for it to flower and set fruit. So uh, this is kind of a shortcut. You know, usually you grow dragon fruit up a trellis, and then you need to wait for it to grow up the trellis and hang down. Uh, this way, the branches can just kind of hang off the pot, and uh, it's probably not high enough. Probably the possums will grab a whole bunch of them, but. Um, yeah, just giving it a go. We had this pot laying around, so I thought, why not? Anyway, that is worm castings and a very happy dragon fruit. Alright guys, have a great day. Smash like, subscribe.